everybody cousin Jim here Arthur and I are headed out Big Al can't make it today he's got to work we're uh, gonna go shoot some video on the reef for you don't know what we're gonna catch but we're gonna have a great time we'll, ma we'll make a show for you if you like what you see hit that subscribe button follow me cousin Jim and Arthur I'm not in real deep water all right we're putting the anchor down Far enough? I don't know. Not my boat. All right, people, if you know the Florida Keys, we are fishing just outside of the elbow. There's the little, what's left of the elbow's tower. It keeps changing, but that is the elbow there. So we're just outside of it. We're in about 40 feet of water. Um, we're going to see what we can get. The wind's going one way, the tide's going the other, and the current's going another, so we're all discombobulated. But I think we'll catch a fish. Early could get the bait next time. All right, coming up from the bottom. I caught, I got a matching one. All right, there they go. Red hind, strawberry grouper. That's full size for them. Actually, I've caught them up to about three pounds. But if yeah, it was group, if it was grouper season, they would be keepers. Another red hind. That's the third one. I got one on now too. Maybe, might have came off. They were time they die. Nah, he'll, he'll swim away. Huh? He'll, he'll swim away or he'll get eaten. <laughs> or he'll get eaten. Okay, Arthur, here you go. It's, it's recording. All right, Jim's on. I'm on. Could this be number four on the red hinds? Yeah. Oh no, I got a grunt. All right. Grunts and grits. I'm starting to call these Key Largo panfish. They're good eating, even though people call them grunts. So I'm gonna throw him in the box. There will be a million of those guys down there. All right. Um, Another red hind. I'm on. That's the fifth red hind. I want to show you people this fish up close. See how his swim bladder is uh, blown up there. If I if I release him, he's just going to float on top of the water till something comes and eats him. So I'm going to vent him so he can go down. But look how beautiful that little fish is. There he's spitting out whatever he ate from me. Just a beautiful fish though. On. Did you get him? Yeah. That is the sixth thread hind. All righty. So this is, that's the eighth red hind. That's the biggest one we've caught. Beautiful fish though. Another one. It's number 10. There's a baby. Little baby red hind. Okay, here we go. I'm letting a piece of squid go down to the bottom. Wait. 
Waiting for it to reach the bottom. It's almost down there. It's 50 feet down. There he is. Oh, you got a good one. I might have a real one. I'm recording, so it's it's on. So I think we got him. A little different angle. See what we got. Oh, yes. A pudding wife. Pudding wine. I got to check the name on this guy again. I always forget. Oh no, this is a parrot fish. Oh no, it's not. It's a pudding wipe. Look at the size of those teeth in this little guy. Look at those teeth. Holy crap. Arthur, is there a pair of pliers here? I gotta get this guy off. Yeah. All right. Arthur is on. You lost him? Yeah. Got your bait? Oh no, got a little bait. Arthur is getting a bite up here on that front rod. See it there? It's, it's a little fish pecking at it. With a big hook and a big piece of bait. <laughs> so hopefully the little fish gets some big fish stirred up. There, the little fish tried to take it. It didn't go anywhere. Something's gonna come along and eat it, hopefully. When the fish get fired up, the little fish get fired up, then the big ones will. But we're just gonna try and catch a couple more fish at this spot. We caught at least a dozen red hinds. A couple of grunts. Pudding wine, pudding wife, gotta look it up. See what it's really called i've got a whole ballyhoo down on my back rod over here i'm getting absolutely no action on it arthur i think this place has had it i think we need to move on to a new spot 15 little red hinds and three or four grunts a couple of pudding wines i think it's over here we're moving the bait wow don't know if I got the camera on in time, but the bait was shower in there. All right, we're out here on the reef, about 30 feet of water. We've got a rocky bottom. I can see rocks and I can see sand on the bottom. I'll put the GoPro in the water in a minute so you can see what it all looks like. So there's what the bottom looked like. Arthur's on. Oh, Arthur's on a rock. He's good at catching those. Probably one of the best. Probably got a massive grouper on and it pulled him into the rocks. Arthur finally is on. That's a nice grunt. That one will feed two people. <laughs> oh, whatever it is. Strike. Strike. We're always finding strange stuff. Are there any fish around it? We don't need to grab it. That thing's... Somebody's old ice chest, man. It got a triple tail inside? No, my stone crabs either. Mm. You know, throw it away. Yep, pull the trash out of the ocean. All right, I'm Cousin on. Jim's on. Another grunt. All right. All right. Catching grunts, grits and grunts for breakfast. Follow me, Cousin Jim. Hit that subscribe button. All right, there we go. Another fish. 
Another grunt. Not as big as the last one. Arthur's got a good one on. I'm not pretty sure. Looks like it got him down in the rocks. Uh -huh. Can you feel him on there? Can you feel him pulling? Let him pull a little bit. Let him work his way out. Now hit him hard. He waited. Hit him hard. Okay. Down in the rocks. Mr. Rockman today. There you go. Yeah. He's got him. Got him out. Good job. Let's see what you got. Oh, look at that. Really nice piece of coral. We'll drop it down to the bottom. The weight will, uh, the rock on the bottom of it will make it set up. And that's fire coral, so Arthur's going to be hating it. But there it goes. It'll, fire coral. It'll go down to the bottom and settle down. Do what? Don't fall in. That's why I got your uh, live well full, so you can wash without falling in. Okay. There we go. Oh, another grunt. Woo. I'm loading the box. These guys are pure white meat. Listen to him. All right, got another one on here. Another grunt coming up. There he is. I can hook the bottom again. Arthur's got the bottom again. Yeah. I'm getting a bite. Put that out there on the tip of my rod, see if you can see it. There we go, I got him. Oh man, look at the size of this grunt. Woo! There you go, Arthur. Yeah, buddy. It's good. Fight what you got there. Here it comes. Oh no. Parrotfish or pudding maker. A figgy pudding fish. He's a fat one. What is this thing? Ow. Did he get you? No. What was the owl for? My, got a cut on my finger. Not from his teeth though. No. Everybody thinks this is a parrot fish. <laughs> he is a slimy fish. Ooh, come here, sucker. Arthur's scared of him. Yeah. I don't want to get my finger bit off. <laughs> Good looking fish. Go home, buddy. Once it starts coming, can't you just let it go and it just keep coming? It'll clog up. Pull up. We got to pull up. I think it's hung.